Well, at first, when we sort of sat down and we sort of started prototyping ideas for Medieval 2, we sort of um, sat down, had a look at Rome, and we thought, okay, everything looks fine from a distance. Um, you see your massive armies and tons of soldiers, and um, that's really cool. Uh, but then we found when you sort of got a little bit closer, medium distance, and then close up, when you want to actually see the action going on in the battle, we found that um, because everyone looked exactly the same, it sort of took you out of the, out of the game, out of the immersion factor. Uh, we've removed the attack of the clones. You know, all of the, the men now are individual. There's, um, they've got variations of you know, bodies and shields and helmets and weapons and all those sorts of things. The men are built out of random, random parts that we sort of supply the engine. Uh, one unit of uh, peasants or peasant spearmen will be made of, out of uh, five different uh, random arms, bodies, legs, heads, uh, faces, helmets. Um, and all that sort of builds the base for the individual look of each character. And after that, uh, we go ahead even further and we give them sort of individual shields and weapons as well. And we sort of watched the battles go on. We thought, oh, what we can do is we can add sort of dirt and blood overlays to these characters. So that way you'll get guys in the front who have been in the action, um, you know, they'll be getting dirt and blood sort of overlaid over their character textures. And that way they sort of look different from the guys at the back who are sort of still fresh and clean and ready to go. Along with that, not only the visual look, but we've also added a little bit of you know, individual behaviour to them as well. So they all animate differently um, as they, they idle and in combat they've got a, a lot more variety of moves and, and finishing moves to, to really kind of give them some character and personality. One of the major advances in this game is that every character animates uniquely. We choreograph all the animation before they are motion captured. Well basically you want to see what's cool. So what, what is cool? And, and that, you know that's a pretty vague sort of thing but it's basically getting out there and just having a go with a stick or a, you know make make believe sword with someone else and going well we, we would like to have uh, this character die by a, you know getting his head cut off for instance how can we make that look cool when you sort of uh, look at all these things incorporated together you've got the you know the multiple body parts the shields and weapons uh, varying when you when it all comes together it really looks awesome on the battlefield